what's good y'all it's your boy ski beats and today on dojo designs i'm going to be showing you some cool velocity switching techniques that you can use on your mpc let's go so most of the time you know when you talk about velocity the first thing you know a producer thinks about is using like velocity in the 16 level type of way say if you got like a hi-hat you know you have the low volume and, and the high volume and you use the velocity to, you know, give your drum track some more human feel. And that's cool. That works. You know, that's been like a proven technique forever. But you can use velocity to switch different instruments on one pad. So, for example, say we got this drum break, right? And say I wanted the hi-hats. I like that first hi-hat right here. Oh, my bad, in part. I like that first hi-hat and I like that second hi-hat. And if you notice, they both have like different, you know, different timbres because of how, you know, the live drummer was playing it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the first hi-hat and I'm, I'm going to extract that. I'm going to name this hat one. Just to keep me um, clean, hat one, do it. Now I'm gonna get the second hi hat. We're gonna name that hat two. Do it. Boom. So now we extracted two hi hats, hat one and hat two from the break, right? So I'm going to go to main mode, go to program, edit, go to sample. Now on layer one, I'm going to add hi-hat one. And on layer two, I'm going to add hi-hat two. Okay, so now we got both hi-hats on one pad layered together. So now I'm going to go to my filter envelope just to clean the hi-hats up a little bit. I'm going to use my amp envelope, bring up the decay, there we go. Now I'm going to go back to my velocity screen. Now hi-hat one, I want it to start at zero, but I want the velocity to only go up to like 111. And on hi-hat two, I want it to start at 112. Now, if you hear, if I hit it softly, that's how I had one. And if I, if I hit it harder, that's how I had two. Now, you can easily hear this if you throw it in 16 level mode. So now you got two different hi-hats being controlled by the velocity. And keep in mind, you can do that with kicks. You can do that with snares. I mean, you can add your own sounds and, you know, give it different velocities when you're playing it. And that definitely gives your, your drum grooves and your drum programming a whole different level of, of, of humanization. You get me?